Archie Christina here. I'm outside today. It's a nice day, thought I'd change it up a bit. It has come to my attention that some of you may not know how to prepare broccoli for cooking. So that's what I'm going to teach you how to do today. Come with me back into the kitchen and I'll teach you how to prepare broccoli. All right, here we are. Here's my broccoli. I'm gonna rinse it a little bit. Now you can get two kinds of broccoli in the store. One is on the stalk like you see here and the other is just broccoli crowns. Basically they cut the stems off for you and it's just the crowns. But you can't really cook broccoli like this because the stalk is just way too hard. So I'm not sure if you know how to do this but what you wanna do is you wanna take a knife with a, a flat blade. This is a serrated blade like that that looks like a saw. I find that the one that does not look like a saw is best. It's, these are usually called paring knives. I want to make sure it's sharp. So you just cut off the end like that with the paring knife and you just kind of peel it like you would, I don't know, a potato or an apple. Um, I did bring a peeler here to try it. I've never done it with a peeler, but I'm sure you can. It'll just take a little bit longer, just like that. I don't prefer the peeler, but some people do. And if you get a little guy over here, then I'm just gonna put it in my colander over here. You just wanna get that tough peel off of that stock and when you do that and you cook it it makes it so much easier to eat and then what I do is I just take it over here and I just kind of oh, you can't see that, not really I'm gonna show you what I do here I just cut it in little strips then once you get down to the crown there's a little bit more skin so you just can kind of peel it even a little bit more And then again, you just slice it. And sometimes you'll get the peel inside of here, and so I just take a little bit more off the sides, like that. And then that's how you eat the stock. If you wanna peel off the little flowerettes, you peel them off, and you don't really need to, um, I guess, de-stock the flowerettes because the, the stock is a little bit thinner once you get up near the flowers. You can a little bit. Depends on how much detail you wanna go into it. It's too tedious and you could just leave it and you just kind of keep whittling at it slowly but surely here and then it'll just and that's it so see this one has a lot of stock on it I'm just gonna cut away the stock just like that all right next and you can do the same thing you take the end off and then you just start to peel it so that was it pretty easy right so i didn't get into how to make broccoli because you can make it a million different ways but today i am going to roast it and what i do is i set the oven to 400 degrees i put the broccoli on a baking sheet and then i pour maybe two or three tablespoons of oil on it and i just mix it up with my hands if there's any other vegetables that i have in my fridge um, you know like onions or zucchini sometimes i'll throw that in there too season it with salt and pepper then i cover it with foil and i bake it for or roast it for 20 minutes minutes on 400. After 20 minutes I take the foil off and I roast it again for another 20 minutes. Whoa, hello sun. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun and I say and then it's done. Sometimes I steam it and then after I steam it I'll just drizzle fresh squeezed lemon juice on it with some salt and pepper and then sometimes after I steam it then I'll saute it in garlic and olive oil just to give it a little you know oomph. You can add it to pasta dishes, stews, I'm sure you have your own thing. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I uh, can't wait to see you in the next one. Ciao for now. The real reason I'm outside is because my house is too messy and too loud. Ciao Amici, Christina here. I'm outside. I'm. Bleh.